Morning everyone, Chris again. So today we're at the Royal Iris at Charlton. So I'm here with Ian and Chris from IKS Exploration. So we've just come down today. We're doing a few uh, visits and a couple of days out, a weekend away with IKS. So I'll be doing a few little videos. Um, this one's a fail. Uh, the ladder's been taken back and chained and the metal plate's gone to give us access to the boat. It's just too much of a risk to jump across there. So uh, we're not gonna be able to get on the boat today, which is a damn shame. But yeah, this is the Royal Iris. She was built in 1951. Uh, she's a Royal Mersey Ferry, or an ex-Royal Mersey Ferry. They bought her here about, what, 10, 15 years ago on the uh, plans of making her into a nightclub, which never happened. Uh, the Queen stayed on this boat with Prince Philip and they went round their uh, tour of Scotland so she substituted for the Royal Yacht Britannia back then. Also Jerry and the Pacemakers sang and played on this boat and they had a backup band or support band called the Beatles. So she's in a bad state of repair, she's listening to one side and she sinks high tide. Uh, you can see where the water comes up to the uh, banks of all the plankings and all that sort of thing. Full of pigeons, full of mud. Uh, we've all come with boots on. But obviously it doesn't look like we're getting in. Which is a shame. But just to be this close to us. Yeah. Do you think it might need a bit of sanding down? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Mm. I was just saying this was called the fish and chip boat. She was nicknamed the fish and chip boat. Oh, right. Because obviously her uh, main menu is fish and chips up in Liverpool. Fish, chips, and mushy peas. Oh, yeah, because we can see the back of it, it says Liverpool on the back, doesn't it? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the picture there. I like it's been so many different colours. Yeah. And then you've got the Royal Daffodil as well, the sister ship to this one. But it's a different shape. Right. And they're trying to get this back to Liverpool, this one, but. I doubt that's going to happen. I doubt that's not going to be seaworthy. Would you want to tie your tag to that? No. Not at all. It's going to be quite a size of a pole for it to not move at all, doesn't it? If, you know, as the tide comes in. Yeah, exactly. It's got to be quite... And if it's rotted through in one place, it's all going to be similar. Mm. Start poking along the bottom. So you can't go below deck because that's holds the water in there. So you can't see the engine rooms or anything like that. Literally, you've got this deck, that deck, and the top deck. Oh right. So so the so three the decks you can get enough on. up that it's obviously slowly filled up. Yeah. yeah. So to a certain extent, if the water is pumped out, it would probably be it more likely to move with the tide. Yeah, probably for a little while. Yeah. So you just fill back up again. Yeah. Madness, right? Right. Exactly. That's all it is, isn't it? Scaffold board. Depending on where we can swim in mud. Can't you get on the beach? Uh, you can, actually, yeah. You can. There is a way round. You can walk down to there and then walk along to the bottom of the boat. It's going to be muddy. Yeah. Yeah, just a couple of feet. Morning pigeons. Oh he's inside as well, that one. That's all right. I'm not monetized, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Going another 20 years before I get a pound off of YouTube. <laughs> Look at them propellers. They're amazing, aren't they? What's the best? Yeah. Oh, definitely. I saw pictures. I didn't think it was quite a bit.
Yeah, tide, tide's low at 10, so we should we should be able to walk along there. Now, if it ain't too uh, muddy. We stay on the stony bits. So I was planning on getting these muddy anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> I can always wash them off in the stems there on that ramp. It's Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather walk along from you can walk down that bank there. Yeah. I've been down there and took a photo this way. Well, yeah, I reckon we can walk that. Just have to watch underfoot, really. Fancy climbing up those. I've seen Chris for a long time, so it's like he's changed his name since I saw him. Right? Yeah, it's Chris WA. Yeah. But, yeah. I decided to put the outdoors bit in so everyone knew what it was about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He does a lot of videos, folks. Uh, he's been putting out regularly, isn't he? So, yeah, a couple of times a week sometimes. Yeah. All outdoor stuff. So, check him out, folks. Let's go. We're on a camping weekend, so it's a little back. on the side of it. There is on the other side. Where we can get round there. Ooh. It's getting off it though, isn't it? Oh well that's muddy. We're going to be going under the iris. Yeah. 
If anyone notices these are brass rubbers, Where it's lifted to one side, it's probably just it's already full of water anyway. Yeah. You don't normally get to see this side, does it? Plates welding on. Well, it was nearly a foul, but it's not a foul now. That must doesn't it? Muddy mud. Oh wow. This as well.
Somebody's tried to nick the propellers off it. That must have made a hell of a noise <laughs> grinding that. <laughs> I wonder if they got stopped. Yeah, maybe. They nearly got there though. Oh, he's washing himself up. That's when he finds out if his boots leak. Yeah, or he finds a big hole. Yeah. <laughs> I brought wellies, but I just hate walking around in wellies. When you said about get away boots, I thought. Yeah, boots are good. Well, <laughs> boots. That's where you get a lot of the mud blockers coming down. There's all sorts of things. Yeah. How old some of them must be? Just got my wood there. Yeah. <coughs> Someone paying to keep this here? I don't know. I'm I'm sure. It must be a free mooring. I said it was going to be a nightclub. Normally, you can't just rack up someone and take them out of here. No, not normally. They normally got them written on the walls, no yeah. mooring here. Loads of bolts, look. There's a hell of a lot of scrap in the field. There's tons of them. Oh, that's a bit sinky. Oh, yeah. What have you found there, Chris? It's a rivet, top of a rivet, where they used to heat on the bashing with a hammer. Oh, it snaps. Titanic. So they'd heat them up, bang them in, wouldn't they? Like that. They were the thickest of them, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, with the hole in it. Quite a tough. Oh, well, I mean, that's dangerous. This little glass down there, you've got to be careful. I'm trying to keep the blocks. I think it's the mud. The block, they're a bit sick. Yeah. yeah. That means the tide's still cut, yeah, the tide is coming in, yeah, it's flowing in there. Is that the same barrier? Yeah. I went there in 1983, I think it was 83 on the opening, and they gave us all the big town with the tenth barrier on it, I don't know, about 12, something like that. Yeah. And they had a big dome in there with a film going, and you had like what London would look like if it flooded, and you had this big crash. And they played Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Right. And it just, the, the sound come out of these speakers, and it was just a 360 degree cinema. It was amazing. Wow. And you could see all these buildings in London getting deluged by this big long tidal wave, and that was the advert for the Temple Barrier. They 
show it a couple of weeks ago. There's a big high tide. A friend of mine came up from Rochester with his boat, and he couldn't get in. Police turned him back. Couldn't get in? No, he couldn't get into London. He had to turn back all the way back to Little Harrow. Yeah. Uh, Chris. Seven hours, forty-five minutes. Three seconds to run. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Yeah, let's let's um, get out of here. <laughs> Have to keep moving because you sink up, right? Or breaking an ankle. Ian's going for a dip. Your pizza's here, look, Uber. That's it, give it some stick. He don't do it. Miserable git. If you're driving that boat, you're a miserable git. off a midget submarine. London. Fashion person, wouldn't you? Oh, 
There's that guy that had them um, Spanish gold coins, and he handed them in. And there's another kid, he found a load of stuff with his metal detector, I think gold or something like that, still loads of really old silver coins worth a fortune. And he handed it in, and the local um, mayor gave him like $20. $20? <laughs> like that. Yeah, as, as for being so truthful. <laughs> yeah, and he got his new car on the Monday. <laughs> Not the kid, the policeman. <laughs> right, let's go back to the car folks. This, even this bit looks interesting. It looks like Bleeding Castle. Yeah. Yeah. Have a look along the Thames. Yeah, this is where you get with history, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> this is a bit more solid. Drown or climb up that ladder? <laughs> I'll climb up that one. Yeah. It's got a bar at the top and you can pull yourself up. That one sort of looks original to the wall. I was going to say, it's quite funny. Let's do one bit and let the old one there. Yeah. But that... Oh. Oh, there's some... Actually, there's some stairs there. One. It's only going to be a few feet deep. No. The camping will be over then, mate. It'll be right. My video will go viral. <laughs> 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 I yes. can do that work. <laughs> 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 I guess. Drowns? We'll, we'll see. The shopping trolley is down there. Just chuck the camera to Chris and he can finish off the video. Yeah, see, it just goes slowly sinks into the mud. He's off. Rubbish. So it's Thames 21. Um, put the rubbish in there, it takes it up to the incinerator at Crossnet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the blue Tem, Thames 21 barges are for the rubbish out the river because they collect. They come along, do little picks here as well. And you've got the Thames bubble that comes up here as well. It's got a cage on the front. Right, right. It lifts all the rubbish out in the driftwood and puts it into there. Yeah. So I worked with them for about 16 years doing that voluntary. Yeah, but a bigger scale. A lot bigger. Right, 
try this one? Or should we try this one? Or should we just go to the one where we want mint? It's up to you, yeah, can do. I guess we can. Right away, excuse me, just climb over it, can't you? Yeah. Oh. I think you want to be holding onto the rail. Yeah. Are you right, Chris? Yeah, I'm all right. It's quite deep then, isn't it, the old death Yeah. Yeah. You can see, obviously, all this nice nice really come up, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, beach tide comes up to like 6.2 metres. Here it comes, folks. The rest of the game? It's not a game. No. <laughs> so we just come out in some random back garden. Yeah. Something out of the way. Oh. What? Um. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Here's uh, beyond one of the businesses. Yeah. Oh, we <laughs> <laughs> oh, just walk out there. Here's the road. Yeah. We're walking out now, aren't we? So. Yeah. Well, as you see people, we've not broken in, in case we get stopped, we're just going to walk out. <laughs> this will be fun. Well that's a bit random wasn't it? Yeah. I expected it to join back up with that. That was really good. Being under the Royal Iris. Hopefully one day we get on it. Yeah. Where is the just down here. Just said so we're lost. <laughs> well I'm going to put this camera down a bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.